Regenerative agriculture um, is kind of a buzzword right now. It's really gained a lot of momentum in the last five or ten years. And the reason for that really is because climate change is around us, it's in all of our faces, it's a huge problem, especially in agriculture. When we depend on the climate being um, somewhat predictable and our climate is not predictable, regenerative ag is really an answer to that because it's focusing on pulling carbon from the atmosphere and sequestering it into the soil. It's based on ancient indigenous ways of farming and agriculture throughout time and it really seeks to provide overall health to the ecosystem on the farm. Denver Botanic Garden's key values of relevance, sustainability, transformation, and diversity fit in perfectly with regenerative agriculture. So we really hope to create a very succinct program here where we're highlighting regenerative ag and we're also constantly tying it back into our core values as an institution. What regenerative agriculture means to us at Chatfield Farms is really a set of guiding principles. And that first guiding principle starts with building healthy soil. Uh, when I talk about uh, healthy soil, I compare sand versus soil. Uh, what's the difference? So sand is not alive versus soil, which is an ecosystem. And the relationship between sand and soil uh, is not just the nutrients that's in the soil, but it's the life that's creating those nutrients and delivering the nutrients to the plant. You talk about the most common practices in agriculture, uh, fertilizing and tilling. Uh, when you till a soil, you're destroying the ecosystem within the ground. Uh, and when you fertilize, yes, you're adding the nutrients that the plants like, but if you add too much, there can be a risk of runoff. So you can pollute the waterways around the soil and the ecosystem around your farm. Composting, I believe, is the first step into regenerative agriculture. So when you're composting, you're not just adding the nutrients to the farm, you're adding the life within the soil. So you're not only able to absorb the nutrients better, but you're able to deliver them to the plants and prevent some of that runoff and the pollution that comes with fertilizing. Regenerative agriculture also focuses on reducing the amount of water that's used to grow crops. When you create healthy soil by reducing how much you're tilling it, um, water has the capacity to stay in the soil for much longer. So we're really conserving and using less water over time to grow crops, which will definitely help with those drought conditions that we've been dealing with for the last while in Colorado. But also when you're not over tilling your soil, you're not increasing the amount of carbon that you're sending into the atmosphere, which is directly linked to climate change. We also really want to increase our farm diversity, our biodiversity, the diversity of our farmers that we have working here, the diversity of plants and animals that we can take care of and steward here. Biodiversity is important yeah. when growing crops because we grow these crops within a larger ecosystem and the quality and nutrient density of our food really depends on how much our soil life can support that food. Do we have beneficial insects who are fighting off the pests that might bring down the quality of our food? Do we have maybe hawks that will keep the bunnies away from eating all of our food? So if our whole farm ecosystem is biodiverse and working together, we have a much better time producing food. For me, when I think of regenerative agriculture, I think of a system that is self-supporting, that is resilient to environmental challenges, and that can repeat itself in a healthy way over time. So without a biodiverse ecosystem, none of those things can exist. Regenerative agriculture really is the long view. It's a gradual process. I believe that if we start to pay attention to the systems that are naturally occurring and we start to work with and mimic those for our own gains, which in this case is growing food, we can create a system that will work better and will start to fix some degraded soils um, bring back some biodiversity, and that there is hope for the future of agriculture. We can really take action and be a part of what's going to happen in the future in a positive way.